Hey everyone, it's me. Uh, today I'm gonna speak about how to make a uh, fake shadow in Unity. Uh, normally I'm not used to speak about a specific engine, I prefer to talk in general, but uh, I read this morning an interesting article in Gamma Sutra. It's about implementing fake shadow in Unity for mobiles by Vijay Kartik. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, in this article, I basically speak about how to use a fake shadow like a circle in underneath the game object to to make a shadow with less draw calls and better performance from mobile. So sometimes the shadow is not working correctly, especially if our character is, uh, is if our player playing with characters. So sometimes we need to define like arms, like weapons, like Lots of stuff. So uh, I will speak about my method, which I used to use to implement this. Uh, I was working in composting for an advertisement, and I learned it this way from an animator. He uh, basically uh, I was making a 3D sphere, and he making a 2D character running on, on top of this sphere, and to make it looks like real, he he drew the shadow and animated the shadow but uh, for me I'm not good at drawing so I'm using 3D software to achieve this so I'll speak about one of my games it's called Football Lights it's a game about this ast astronaut which lost in space uh, you can check it later uh, so here uh, I'll make shadow for the running cycle so which is sync ints here okay So it's just 12 and okay, it's fine. I move to top. Make sure everything is fine. And let's have a render. Okay, it's fine. Maybe with a little bit like this. Okay, so uh, I will apply uh, a shader for 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 all for all the models here for all the poly here. I will apply the same shader. Uh, make sure this is a, a clone or duplicate from the original file. Don't want to mess with the files, so I'll select everything here and let's assign material and surface shader. Okay, this one as well needs a surface shader. Okay. Okay. Existing material surface shader, and then we can select this surface shader and give it color like this. So looks good. We can also. Mm, curves like this so we can make it more smooth and render with mental array okay close so it's it's better now so uh, I'll patch render to, to render this animated 12 frames so let's choose PNG to have a uh, Images with transparent alpha, and let's select here name, number, and extension, and 12 frames. And let's make it a little smaller. Okay, it's fine, I can resize it later. So, okay, we can patch render, patch render, okay, okay. Patch render close, just wait a moment. Okay, it's almost done. So we can open here and here, here, asset and images. So Oh shit, 
Okay, sorry, I have to select a different camera for rendering, so let's select it from here again and switch to top and let's render and fetch render. Okay, it's not finished here. Okay, it's correctly working. Okay, until this one finishes, uh, I'll navigate to my project, which is here. Okay, double press down, and let's open here, here, and the Unity project, and let's create a new folder. Call it, uh, let's say, uh, as true um, shadow. Here, so it's finished now. Okay, copy this, and copy here, and I'll because each of them is big, and I'm going to use a sprite, so I'll size everything let's say here let's say uh one two eight it's fine for me okay close okay let's open unity here and let's open any of the levels here okay uh here for example this is level one okay so uh, I'm using the latest Unity which have the 2D functionality so we can use this 2D or we can use uh, a plugin like 2D toolkit anything to, to make sprites so I'll start using 2D toolkit first and then I'll explain how to make it work with uh, the normal 2D framework inside Unity so uh, I'll create a sprite sprite collection let's call it uh, Shadow and open the editor. Let's select this images. Put it here. Okay. Make sure here to select sprites. Sorry. Let's advanced none just for stun now. It's transparent. Okay, it's fine. So here I can commit and make an atlas. So it's finished. It's finished. Okay, shadow data. So we have this image so we can then make a animated sprite let's put it here with the other one which in levels I believe since levels yeah it's in here Okay, and open the editor and let's create a clip and call it shadow move um, frame rate was 24. Okay, let's select the first one, it's shadow, and let's auto fill 20, 24 frame is a frame rate and 12 frames okay let's commit it's done so come back to the scene again create 2d toolkit animated sprite and let's select here 
Hmm, it's called dominated sprite, shadow, play automatic. It's here. Let's bring it up. Just going to mute everything because I think we need to to hear any music. So it's as well. It's here, right? It's disables the shadows. The shadow and. here yeah because uh, I just I use just one animation state machine which is the movement uh, but if my character is doing lots of animations like jumping idling uh, moving fighting so we have to make uh, several uh, sprite animations for this but uh, in here I'm using just I just one sprite here Kill it a little bit, and we can try again here. So, so as you can see, my character here. So let's. Zoom the camera a little bit to be able to see. Here. So, and let's zoom. So you can see the shadow now. Yeah, maybe it's uh, it's very obvious. But we can still tweak the shadow because we, we have sprites, so we, we can control lots of stuff like we can control its color, we can control its transparency. In fact, there is lots we can control. So maybe from the shader here, this one, this one, and there is it. Yeah, it's pretty here. So, yeah. so. Here you can see. Now, here, you can have a look here. The shadow here. It's animated shadow, and for the performance, it have no overhead for performance for mobile, for web, for any other thing, because uh, basically the uh, the player using just one draw call for for the image. No performance overhead. So. I hope it helps you to do some stuff. Thank you. Bye.